Yo, what is going on guys, JoeCost7 here, bringing you another Infinite Warfare video. And you guys can tell just by looking at the title that today we are going to be talking about the best gun to be using in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. The weekend has just arrived and by the time I'm making this video, it is Friday and I'm sure all you guys are going to get out there for the first weekend of Infinite Warfare. Try and level up as fast as possible, try and get as much XP and you guys want to know the best gun to be using for getting as much XP as possible. And I'm here to tell you guys that I'm 100% positive that I know which gun is the best gun in Infinite Warfare, without a doubt in my mind. Yes, Infinite Warfare is a game where there's a lot of guns that are very, very good. A lot, there's not really that many guns in the game that, are, that I would consider bad. But I can tell you without a doubt that this is the most overpowered gun setup in the game. And this is going to get nerfed or patched sometime in the near future. So you guys should take advantage of it while it still exists. So I'm sure just by looking at the gameplay, you guys can already tell which gun is the best gun that I'm going to be talking to you guys about today and that is the raw LMG now the raw LMG I'm 100% certain this is the best gun in the game but by itself it doesn't stand a chance but with this setup I'm telling you guys it is going to be insanely overpowered now before we get into any setup or class setup that we're going to be using let's talk about the gun by itself first the raw LMG is an energy LMG so basically what that means is when you shoot bullets in your clip you won't have to reload all the time because it, while idling the gun, the gun from your reserve will go into your gun in your magazine and that will really help out a lot because with a light machine gun, you want to reload the least amount of times as possible because it does take a lot of time and it gets you out of the fight a lot just sitting in a quarter waiting for your gun to reload. So that energy gun does help a lot with reloading the gun. Now this gun is very powerful. I personally have never gotten a four shot kill with this gun. Maybe I have, but I've never noticed it. Most of the time, this gun is gonna be a three shot kill, and that is extremely powerful for a light machine gun to have. Three shot kill with the rate of fire this gun has, it's not terrible, but it's also not that fast. But it is fast enough to make the killing time for this gun extremely fast and very deadly in all gunfights. Now, besides just the statistics of the gun alone, the attachments you're gonna use with this gun to make it very, very good, you're gonna need quick draw, stock, and suppressor. Now, suppressor is optional, but I'm gonna get into that in one second about why I think suppressor is one of the better options for this gun. Now, quick draw and stock, for me, I think are 100% they're necessary. You need those attachments on this gun. Let me get into why. Now, the quick draw for an LMG. LMGs do not aim down sights quite as fast, so if you turn a corner and there's a guy right in front of you, it's going to take you a lot longer to aim down sights than it is for him if he has, let's say, a submachine gun or an assault rifle. So the quick draw really does help you be an equal playing field for those gunfights because it's a light machine gun. Also the stock, aiming down sights and walking with an LMG, it is a really slow moving gun. So when you have the stock on your aiming down sights, you can strafe a little bit more than you normally would be able to. And I find that very helpful in gunfights and situations, peeking corners and pre-aiming guys. Now, here's why I think the suppressor is a very good attachment for this gun. Now, the suppressor, normally, it does reduce the damage that you do at different ranges. So let's say the NV4, for example, is an assault rifle that will deal four shots to kill at a medium range. Now, when you're at a medium range, let's say that medium range is, hypothetically speaking, because I don't know how long it actually is, let's say it's 30 feet. Up until 30 feet, you'll get a 4-shot kill. Anything past that, you'll get a 5-shot kill. With suppressor, normally what it would do is it would reduce the range of that. So instead of that 4-shot kill being 30 feet, it'll be 25 feet. Anything past that will be a 5-shot kill. It'll just reduce it a little bit. But with this gun... I have noticed no difference whatsoever. I have noticed no damage difference or range difference. Anytime I've shot someone and killed them, it has been a three shot kill every single time. At all ranges, even across the map, I've gotten three shot kills with this thing. Not to mention it has almost no recoil whatsoever. It does bounce a little bit, but nothing that you can't control. So I feel like if the suppressor does nothing negatively towards the gun, why not run it on an LMG where I can get on high streaks and get all my square streaks in? Because suppressor really does help a lot in this game. A lot of people running UAV, Ghost and Suppressor is just very necessary in this game. Now let's get into what makes this gun the best gun in the game. Now as you know in Infinite Warfare, instead of Specialists, we do have Combat Rig. So the second rig available is the Merc Rig. Now it comes with Steel Dragon, Bull Charge, and Reactive Armor. Now Reactive Armor in my opinion is the best one, but that's not relevant. The only reason I'm saying that is because we are going to be using the Merc with this setup. Now out of those three, I would select the Reactive Armor. But the thing that does make this gun the best gun 
is what we're going to be selecting in the trait category. Now there's three traits, there's Infusion, Mana Arms, and Shockwave. And if you guys are not familiar with Mana Arms trait with the Merc, it allows you to start with maximum ammo capacity with all guns. So basically what that means is in the reserve section of your gun, you will start with the maximum amount of ammo that you could possibly hold when you spawn in every time. And weapons that you hold, no matter what weapon it is, will no longer slow your default movement. So basically, let's say you run with an SMG really fast compared to a light machine gun. With a light machine gun, when you have this man at arms trait, you will run the same speed as you normally would with an SMG in your hands. That is what makes this gun the best gun in the game. Because not only is it extremely strong, extremely powerful, 70 bullets in a clip, it's an energy weapon, no recoil. With these attachments and with the man at arms, this gun is extremely powerful. It feels like a submachine gun that kills in three bullets from any range. And I feel with exposing something this overpowered in the game, it's definitely going to be nerfed or patched in some type of way. There's not going to take out any of the traits to, you know, remove this, but I feel like it is going to be nerfed in some type of way because this gun is way too good with these attachments and with this Merc rig setup that make it this overpowered. Now in this gameplay I am playing Domination on Genesis. This is the Modern Warfare 3 Dome remake and the Ghost Strike Zone remake. This honestly is one of my favorite maps in the game. I feel like I always dominate in this map. It's very small and with an LMG that feels like a submachine gun it really does perform down the long alleyways and even in those close corner gun gunfights. The setup that I am using in this game is the raw LMG with the attachments I said before, quick draw stock and suppressor. I am using the secondary Kendall 44, that is my favorite secondary in the game. No lethal, and for tactical I am using the personal radar, I feel like that helps me a lot when I don't know where people are, we don't have a UAV, and I'm trying not to die off a streak. I will use the personal radar and it really does help me in a lot of situations. For the perks, I'm using ghost like I said before, ghost and suppressor are a really good combination to stay off that radar. I am using Scavenger, and I am using Hardwired for those counter UAVs and all these equipment. That is all for this gameplay and commentary. I'm trying to make this video a little short and sweet, just so you guys can get out there and grind with this new best class setup that I found to be the most overpowered setup in Infinite Warfare. If you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.